At this point in the flight, we're about two minutes into it when I started the camera. Here we see hay, and those white marks are from pocket gophers. That person in blue that you saw back there, that's me flying the drone that we're taking pictures with now. There's some big uh, pocket gopher holes with mounds around them. This is a hay field. There's me. And you can see I've got this flight pretty well under control. Scoping out the hay. Definitely not too high. Not too windy. There's a lot of trees next to this hay field where they would stop any sort of planes from getting too close anyway. <clears throat> there's a picture of me from a distance up. And there's a neat looking mobile home back there with a yellow yellowish wooden deck you can see here we're coming in for a landing and here you're going to see me look at the drone look up at it and I'm looking at a red light to make sure that it's recording look at how serious I am yep and uh, <clears throat> that's because I can't tell when it's on or off and that's why when I started this narration I mentioned that we're like two or three minutes into the flight you can see how quickly it gets up how high it can go very fast <clears throat> there's that mobile home there's some round planting devices there's an antenna you can see there's two antennas you can't see there's a white jeep parked there I think on the side it says hardestnink.com as you can see I'm bringing it down very fun scoping out the whole hay field it's very big I know the gentlemen that harvest this field they said it's okay to fly over it's not hurting anything there's no people out here no animals um, no structures there's me again because really I'm aiming at me and those houses over there to look at and here you can see I did a flip just to be fancy but when you're upside down with the propellers that would normally lift it causes it to go down to lose altitude even more even more quickly than if it was dropping out of the sky <clears throat> this is a styrofoam drone it doesn't drop too fast but it drops fast enough to unless it's brought in for a landing it, it can crash and you can break parts this is a very very high picture for me maybe 200 feet <clears throat> 500 is the limit for the FAA but I don't know if this one can go that far before it lose radio contact and I'd lose control of it and it would just drop until it got back under control or got the radio waves coming towards it and I'm having fun just scooting along looking at the land going a little bit sideways there but didn't crash very interesting here I'm looking for the spot I want to land it'll be next to me that's where I'd like to land they're gonna be right next to it boink I'm landed and that's that thank you over and out